On July 28, 2002, during his induction speech at the Hall of Fame ceremony in Cooperstown with the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow as his backdrop, Ozzy, the Wizard of Oz Smith, compares his baseball career to Dorothy's Odyssey in Oz. His recipe for success included the Scarecrow's Mind to Dream, the Tin Man's Heart to Believe, and the Lion's Courage to Persevere. On July 28, 2006, a statue was dedicated at the National Baseball Hall of Fame Museum honoring Hall of Famer Satchel Paige. The statue depicts Paige in his high leg kick and celebrates the players in the Negro Leagues and pre-Negro League eras. On July 28, 1994, Kenny Rogers of the Texas Rangers throws a four-zip perfect game against the California Angels, becoming the first left-hander in American League to achieve perfection. Rogers strikes out eight batters on his way to the 11th regular season perfect game in the 20th century. On July 28, 1991, Dennis Martinez of the Expos tosses the 13th perfect game in Major League history, setting down all 27 Dodgers to face him in a two-zip win. Martinez would strike out five in the contest, and catcher Ron Hasse becomes the first receiver to catch two perfect games, having called the Indians Len Barker's masterpiece in 1981. Dodger infielder Alfredo Griffin goes 0 for 3 against Martinez to go along with his 0 for 2 performance in Barker's Perfecto in 1981. On July 28, 1971, Orioles third baseman Brooks Robinson, a 16-time Gold Glove winner, commits three errors. Thanks to Frank Robinson's ninth-inning 3-1 walk-off home run off Raleigh Fingers, the Orioles prevail and beat the A's 3-2. On July 28, 1890, future Hall of Famer pitcher Mickey Welch wins his 300th game of his career. Smiling Mickey would win seven more games in the following year in his final season. That was July 28th, This Day in Baseball.